Hi guys, uh, greetings to the day, myself Vijay Tavardhan and please welcome to my YouTube channel and in this session we are going to uh, study about the construction of an isometric projection and an example problem is like this a cube of side 40 mm is resting centrally on a hexagonal prism base side 40 mm and height 50 mm such that the base sides of the cube is parallel to one of the sides of the top face of a prism draw the isometric projections of the combination so according to the given condition we have to construct a cube and which is positioned on a hexagonal prism the respect to orthographic projection is as shown in the figure like this and one can see that in case of an isometric projections inclined lines cannot be drawn at the given inclinations uh, so one can see that in case of hexagon we have four inclined lines cannot be drawn at the given inclinations for which we are going to do a small construction like this to get the uh, end point of these lines I am going to enclose this rectangle in a form of a rectangle uh, by drawing a lines like this that is drawing these lines which are parallel to uh, x y line and perpendicular to x y line and forming a rectangle which is going to enclose this uh, hexagon in a rectangle and using a command called a smart dimension one can measure the uh, dimensions like this uh, the dimension of the rectangle and one more uh, dimension which is most needed we have measured it. Now all these constructions and uh, uh, basic details we already discussed in the isometric projection uh, uh, introduction classes. So one can go through that and you can learn it more clearly and I am going to not show you in detail how to construct an hexagon but according to the condition what is required I am going to show you. Now we know that we have to construct a rectangle of 69.28 by 80 millimeter. So now watch, uh, let me start the construction. So 69.28 at an angle of 13 and 80 mm at an angle of 150 again 69.28 at an angle of minus 150 and 80 and minus 30. Now one can see that we have got the uh, required uh, rectangle. I am just going to move it slightly away like this. Then using a line command uh, using 0.5 mm thickness and I am going to draw a line here on this uh, rectangle like edge and then uh, using a midpoint I am going to draw one end of the hexagon and another two corners of the hexagon is going to be represented here and another corner is represented here and get back to the first corner. So you can see we got the required uh, approximate hexagon uh, no, but not according to the dimension. So using a distance between command with the by two point technique we know that the distance between these two edges are supposed to be 20 millimeter which is as measured here 1, 2, 3, 4 distances are 20 millimeter we have set only one dimension. Now the another dimension I am going to set it for 20 millimeter and again the third one is also supposed to be 20 and the last one is also supposed to be set it for 20 millimeter. So now let me uh, select it properly. This is the end point symbol and the end point symbol. Now this dimension is 20. Now one can see that we got the required hexagon of 20 millimeter uh, uh, sorry 40 millimeter. And then after which all the construction lines which are no more required can be deleted. Now after which using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 I am going to draw one of the diagonal line to get the midpoint of a line by which I am going to represent the center of the hexagon. Once we get the center of the hexagon we know that we need to draw an axis. Now axis line is supposed to be in the form of a chain line. Now the height of the axis is 50 millimeter. Now I am going to draw the height of the axis as 50 millimeter and after which I am going to delete the constructed line and then using a line command with the thickness of 0.15 I am going to set it and a continuous line. Then what I am going to do, I am going to select the hexagon which is at the bottom using a move command and copy or I am going to move this hexagon from the bottom to top here so that it is going to have the two edges like this that is the two bases. And afterwards, using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter, whatever the visible edges are there, I am going to connect those visible edges of the hexagon. And then, whatever the invisible edges are there, these invisible edges, if required, can be retained as a thin lines, otherwise, it can be deleted. Now, one can see that the isometric view or isometric drawing of a hexagonal prism as per the given condition is completed. Now, we need to draw the cube of 40 millimeter size. Now using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter, I will going to construct the cube. 
otherwise i am going to show you one more technique in this video uh, go to a tools uh, sorry not in the tools go to applications macros run macro and using inside polygon click on open and then wait for the dialog box to appear once we get the dialog box go to the flat length now we will select the flat length equal to the size of the cube the size of the cube is 40 and I'm going to take the number of sides as 6, then click on the apply relationship. Then I'm going to press anywhere on the screen like this. Now one can see that we got a hexagon here. Now after getting an hexagon, what I'm going to do is using a line command, I'm going to uh, draw the diagonals of this hexagon like this. Once I'm going to draw the diagonals of the hexagon, now one can see that this is going to form the required a cube so this is also called as the hexahedron so using a trim command uh, the unwanted lines i am going to delete it now you can see that the cube of required size of 40 millimeter is constructed then using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 and a uh, chain line using the midpoint of this line i am going to represent the axis for a height of 40 millimeter like this then what i am going to do i am going to select this cube then make use of a move command move this cube with respect to the end point of a axis line over here now let me repeat it i am going to go for a move command and then move with respect to the end point of a axis line and that end point has to be represented on the end point of the uh, another axis which we have developed for the hexagonal prism like this but make sure that the new copy is supposed to be off now and i'm going to position it here now using the trim command the invisible edges can be removed or it can be trimmed now whatever the visible edges are there that guy is going to be retained then using this uh, isometric view or drawing uh, using a command called as k we will reduce it to isometric projection using 0 0.8164 times now one can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubt to solve this problem feel free to communicate to me and also please like this video and also you can share this video to all your first year engineering students and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel which gives me encouragement to create more and more videos and you can press the bell icon which is uh, seen there so that you will get the latest video updates as and when it is going to be uploaded and once again thanks for watching my youtube channel to learn the engineering graphics Thank you once again guys.